Hello Start authors, welcome to this level one video which is all about editing the text and images inside your project. To demonstrate this to you, I'm going to open up the project that I created in the create a new project video. So in that video I built a project that had two pages in it, a menu and an accordion page, which you might recognise here. And now I've come back into that project, which is accessed from the, my projects list, you can see that I'm automatically in author mode. And you will need to be in author mode every time you want to make edits to your project. As I'm in author mode, you'll notice that as I scroll around the screen here, moving my cursor, there are these various boxes appearing with small pencil icons. And all of these pencil icons are indicating editable areas on the page. So when you click these icons, they will reveal the edit controls you have over that particular field. So on this text box, I've got a formatting bar up here. Whereas if I click the icon on an image area, I have a different set of controls, allowing me to edit things like the color, the image itself, and the size. So if you want to edit one of these areas, you can simply click the icon, or if it's a text box, you can double click into the box itself. And then it's as simple as changing the text. When I'm done, I can click the tick icon. And you'll notice as well that every time you make a change, this yellow save button will highlight, which is reminding you to save your page periodically. But you don't have to do that after every single edit. So we've seen how to edit the text. Now let's take a look at editing an image. So to do that, I'm going to click the pencil icon on the image, and there are several different controls I have here. The main one that you're going to need is the image itself. And you'll see when I click that, I've got two main options for adding an image into this area, either uploading from my computer or choosing one from the library. So for now, I'm going to go with upload. And in a similar way to other online tools, I'm just going to navigate to the image I want from my computer select it, and Elucidat will automatically upload it and add it to my image area. You can see that because of the size of the image, it's come in at not quite the right shape and size for the box. And you can use this image mode control here to adjust your image into different modes so that it fits your area perfectly. So at the moment we're in cover, which means the whole image area will be filled with no gaps, but that does mean that the image doesn't necessarily fit, as we can see here. Other options are contain, so the whole image is, vi is visible. Fixed, which gives me control over these um, sliders here to control everything manually. Or finally, original, which is going to put the image in at the size I uploaded it. For this image, I'm going to choose Contain. And I'm now going to add images into my second and third menu items in a similar way. This time, I'm going to upload from the library rather than my computer. Your um, library within Elucidat is a centralised repository for all of your images and videos that have previously been uploaded into this project or any other project in your account. So it's a great place to come if you know you've used an image before or if you think your colleagues might have used an image um, in another project that you would like to use just yourself. So I'm going to add these in and select the contain option again to make sure they fit perfectly inside my boxes. Great, so those are all added in there. When you move to different pages in Elucidat, so I'm going to navigate now to my accordion page, you'll see that the edit icons and the edit controls work in a very similar way. So again, it's always the pencil icons that I can use to edit sections of the page. And when I interact with the page to reveal more text, I then have edit controls over those areas as well. So it's a case of really exploring the pages that you're on and looking for the pencil icons in order to control and edit your text and images. A couple of other buttons up here that you might want to use when you're editing your project. If you need to add a new page, you can use this plus icon here. If you want to duplicate the page you're on, there's an option here. And you can also move the order of your pages as well using this button. 
If you no longer require a page, there's also a delete option here as well. And finally, you can author your project in different modes. So I'm going to choose this um, desktop icon here, which brings up a slider for me, which I can use to look at what my see my project in different view modes. So as I slide it down here, you can see I'm moving into tablet and eventually into mobile phone size. And you can actually edit your project in the exact same way in this mode. So the same edit icons appear. and I can edit the text and images in the same way. So this is really useful if you know that you're going to be, um, your learners are going to be using mobiles, you can ensure that your, your content fits perfectly on a screen as you author without having to view it separately in preview mode. So that's the basics of how to edit the text and images in your account. I'm just going to leave you with a few top tips to think of when you're doing that yourself. The first is to spend a bit of time familiarising yourselves with the edit controls on the page. Different elements such as videos versus images will have slightly different controls um, that you can explore. Secondly, you can use the asset library to reuse images, video and audio from other projects in your account, so you don't always have to be uploading fresh from your PC every time. And finally, you can use the different image modes that I demonstrated, so things like cover and contain, to make sure that your images display correctly within the areas you've uploaded them to. Thanks for listening to this video. Um, coming up next is how to set a brand style. See you then.